Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and today we will see the computer system environment from first unit. Under this class, we are going to discuss the traditional computing, mobile computing, client server computing, peer to peer computing, distributed computing, grid computing, cloud computing and real time embedded system. First, let us see the traditional computing. Traditional computing is nothing but a standalone general purpose machine which is nothing but a single desktop computer a single desktop computer which is used for a single user for local application okay then the system is not connected with any local area network or wild area network then this is called as standalone general purpose machine see here we are having a single machine which is used by a single user for general applications okay and most of the systems are connected to internet by using the web portal. Hence, the user that is the single user can share printers, scanners and other peripherals for their application. And the network becoming ubiquitous. Ubiquitous means globally utilized all those things. Hence, the home systems, even the home systems can use the firewalls to protect the home computers from internet attackers. So, this is a traditional computing and second one is mobile computing here the computers will be interconnected through wireless networks okay and example for this mobile computers are handheld systems mobile phones and the laptops okay so these are all some of the example for mobile computers and in this mobile computing the OS is having some more extra features uh, for example GPS GPS is nothing but global positioning system wherever we can go, we can easily identify the system. So, likewise, the operating system is having more number of features and it allows new types of applications like augmented reality, virtual reality, that is, sorry, AR, VR, augmented reality, virtual reality and more number of other features are there. And here, we are using IEEE 802.11 wireless protocol or cellular data network which are used for connecting this device into the network okay and the most popular operating system for wireless network is apple ios and google android operating system the next one is client server computing so the client server computing is nothing but a distributed application structure so here the entire task or the workload that will be partitioned between the providers as well as the requester okay the providers are called as server see the providers are called as servers and the requesters are called as clients okay here we are having two types of uh, server system first one is compute server system and second one is file server system compute server system which provides an interface to client to request services Okay, we are having different types of services, infrastructure service, application service or platform service, database service, whatever service, maybe we can send the request signal to the server and the server will provide the service through the response. And second one is file server system. File server system, it provides interface for clients to store and retrieve files. Okay. In client server system, there may be a single server and more number of clients can access this server through a network. The next one is peer-to-peer -peer computing. This is another form of distributed computing system. Uh, here, there is no separate client, there is no separate server. Okay, all the uh, nodes will be treated equally, equally in the network. Okay. Hence, the nodes are considered as peers. Okay, that means the peers will act either client or server or both. That means if the particular node can provide services to all the other nodes in the network, or if it if it ask any service, then it can receive the service from any one of the node in the network. Okay, suppose if any network want to join in this P2Pair network, then it should register its service to the central lookup service on the network. And 
it request broadcast for service and responds to request for service via discovery protocol for discovery protocol so this is the peer to peer computing the next one is distributed computing this distributed computing system which consists of multiple software components that are on multiple computers okay here we are having more number of computers each computer is having its own software but everything will be run as a single system then this is called as distributed computing here the computers are distributed system can be physically close together if the systems are physically close together and connected by local network that is by using a lan system otherwise it can be geographically distant and connected via wide area network this is wide area network wide area network means the collection of more number of lans that is more number of lans will be connected together to form wide area network the another important distributed computing is grid computing here more number of uh, computer resources will be connected together to reach a common goal and in a grid computing it can be thought of a distributed system with non interactive workloads that involve many files and in the grid computing there is a grid service provider and grid users so these are user and all the other things will come under provider side in the provider side we are having grid management organization and there should be an administrator for the grid computing and all the resources will be connected together in the grid computing okay here a centralized node is there and all the other systems will be connected through this node and all the users can utilize those resources through the internet or intranet the another popular computing is cloud computing here the cloud service provider will provide services to the cloud clients through a network the services are computing service or computing as a service storage as a service or application as a service okay and through virtualization technology the cloud provider will provide all the services to their clients okay here cloud users are there cloud service providers are there all the high end systems will be connected to provide services to the cloud users through the cloud network there are different types of cloud computing the first one is public cloud public cloud means the service provider will provide services to their clients anyone can access the services that is called as public service but public cloud is open to everybody and second one is private cloud private cloud is run by a company and services will provide only for the company users this is private cloud and hybrid cloud means which combination of both public and private cloud and the cloud computing will provide different services and all the services will come under any one of these three category first one is software as a service that is one or more applications available via internet and second one is platform as a service platform as a service means a software stack which are ready for application development which is available through internet so through internet we can access all the platform and the third and most important one is infrastructure as a service so in the infrastructure means servers are storage which are available over internet okay so these are services of cloud computing the last one is real time embedded system and in the real time embedded system which responds to real time situation with the help of embedded software and hardware a system with response real time situation with the help of embedded software and hardware with a specified time constraints are called as real time embedded system okay here the real time embedded systems are different from the general computers with very considerable special purpose limited functionalities and real time os are installed in the 
real time embedded system and many other special computing environments are also available and some of the system have OS and some of the system they perform task without OS also because it installed only a limited functionalities of operating systems for that system ok and real time OS as well as defined fixed time constraints that is the processing must be done within the constraint. So, these are some of the example of real time embedded system. Up to this we have seen the traditional computing, mobile computing, client server computing, peer to peer computing, distributed computing, grid computing, cloud computing and real time computing and these are all example for computer system environment from first unit. And in the next class we will see another important topic from first unit. Thank you.